The governing Cambiemos coalition defied the polls and probably their own expectations by winning convincingly across Argentina. They took seats in the country's five most populous provinces, giving President Macri greater strength in both the Senate and Congress to push through measures he says are vital to revive the economy. We can govern thinking about the things that we must do, not just what is politically correct, but what the people want. Our confidence has grown, and now we are bearing the fruits of that confidence. Voting to replace half the Congress and one-third of Senate seats was generally peaceful, despite a tense election campaign with the country split and regular protests over the discovery of the body of activist Santiago Maldonado, an issue President Macri says will soon be resolved. Meanwhile, he's celebrating. This is not the only political fiesta in town, with all the parties over the next few days carefully scrutinising the results to look for something, anything, that will boost them towards the presidential elections two years from now. The former president, Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, has done that, clinching a seat in the upper house or senate to represent Buenos Aires province, with hopes of again becoming president. We should be proud of what we have built. No other opposition has resisted the government as strongly as us. We have grown. But results in the rest of Argentina weren't what she was hoping for. And with the opposition fragmented, it's the governing Cambiemos coalition that was celebrating for long into the night. Daniel Schwander, Buenos Aires.